Hi guys, Toy here. Uh, quick review tonight. Uh, this is for the the UD IGO W7. Uh, there's been a few reviews of this out there just now. I think uh, I think Damien and I think Tom, uh, you know, the old Safer Vapors duo, I think in their own rights have done reviews of this. Uh, in fact, they're the only ones I've seen uh, or that I want to watch. Um, now, as usual, this is a rebuildable dripping atomizer. This was sent on to me by P Vapor. The address will be up in the corner as always. And this comes in at £22, I think it is. Good guess, £22. Um, now, as I usually say about UD, uh, <laughs> you never know. It's going to go one of two ways. It's going to be just a little bit crazy and work really well or it's going to be a little bit crazy and be utter crap. It's always the same. You never know what you're going to get with UD. I still love them a bits because they're just they're doing their thing and just getting on with it. And it's the stuff's quite cheap, but it's also sometimes is exceptionally bloody good. Exceptionally bloody good. Is that up? Anyway, uh, right, we'll change the camera and uh, go in for a close-up. Here we have a selection of bits and bobs that are going to make up the dripping atomizer. Uh, I should point out that uh, with the W7, UD have now stepped up their game and are in they're putting together lovely little manuals, uh, assembly diagrams and instructions. I have to commend them in this because they're just going that extra little bit. Uh, the box, you know, oops, upside down, comes in a box like that and in the back, you know, you'll get the, all the, the toys in there. There's extra O-rings, screws, silica wick, wire, everything to get you started. So, if somebody gives you one of these, all you need is a screwdriver and a mod to sit on. Um, right, here we go. Let's start off with the deck. This is a 22mm atomizer, and right now you can see that I have two extremely scruffy coils built in there because this is a vertical build. Now, it's kind of or similar to the idea of the origin by Norbert. Um, you know, this is where we were, would we say, was it the first place I saw it? Possibly, in a dripper, but uh, you know, we've got two negative screws going on here, and a positive in the middle. So you're going to run your coil vertically. Get that in a bit closer, I'm sorry. And then you'll pa I'm going to pass cotton, I'll use cotton in this, so the cotton will sit in the two wells and gather all the juice up. And it does hold a little bit of juice. So that would screw onto your mod, it doesn't have an adjustable pin on there. You would then take this section here, get back in focus, Mr Todd. Uh, you would line up your holes, you've got two holes on either side. This is a dual coil, now this is 4.6 in width. 2.7 in height, and that's in millimetres, uh, and you've got one of these in either side. So you would have your wick in here and you would put your cap line up with the, the wicks so you can see the, the coil through each hole. You then take this section here and that drops down in front of that and that's your airflow control. So you can run that as small or as wide as you like. And then you have this piece here that just screws on to the top. Doesn't a good day, bear with me. There we go. That keeps it all together. And even with this screwed down, uh, you know, the, you, you can just move that about no problem. There's nothing stiff about it, it moves quite freely. And whilst, in my personal opinion, I think this is a hideous little guy, um, I 
can't really fault the way it vapes, I really can't. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll take this off. Well, what I'll do first is I'll pop it on a mod to pull the bottom cap off, or can I do it by hand? There we go. So I'll just check my coils yet again here, make sure they're okay. This is the Gaia that I'm using, and hopefully you can see that both these coils are lit up. So I'll get some cotton in here. So there you go, you can see I've made, uh, I've just dropped some cotton down through there and then filled up the two wells on either side. I've got some, uh, what's this, Jungle Funk, Baloo's Wet Dream. And I'm just going to soak this up a little bit and get it going. So you see I can all load it up and I'll just pop this on my mod. Give this a quick blast. That'll do it. Oh, that smells nice. I've no idea what it is, but it smells nice. Uh, now, once again, just to clarify, you know, you want your, your air holes. Remember, it's dual coil only, this, guys. It's not the... Uh, you can't set it up a single. So just position that slap bang in front of the, the wicks. And then screw on the top cap. And that's us good to go. Okay, here we go, let's have a vape. Uh, right, so here it is on my brass gear. Um, is it Gaia? I think it's Gaia. I always get it wrong. Um, in 18350 mode. I am vaping uh, Jungle Funk's uh, Baloo's Wet Dream, which is 18 milligrams, 50 50 PG VG. I'm running quite a low resistance coil, I think this is actually about 0.8 um, so I've got the air holes wide open right now and I've got the door wide open as well <coughs> too much It's widest. This is a cloud chaser's wet dream. It really is. It's the, the the draw on this is yeah. It's huge. It's absolutely huge. Um, I can, of course, tighten it off and make it as small as I want. Uh, I actually. That's really strong. I'm wondering if my ear holes, my what coils are lined up right. Maybe it's just the juice is too strong. <coughs> it's 18 milligram. I shouldn't be doing this with 18 milligram. Let's just try a little sensible draw here. Hello, wee dog. Hello. You can't see him, can you? Um, right, for £22, um, for £22 it's, it's, a, it's, it's a billy bargain, it really is, um, I really like it because value for money is just stellar, um, if you're a cloud chaser, brilliant, it's got the vertical coils which I really like and I like the two wells because you can hold more juice in it. Uh, as with all drippers, it's only going to leak out the air holes if you overfill it, so bear that in mind, don't go daft. Uh, I, do you know, I, I don't... I mean, even a level of criticism at it, I mean, I don't like the way it looks because of these little bits here that are going right round it, but those bits round there make total sense because you just... You grab onto them, and that's what you spin your airflow with. So even though I don't like the look of it, it's functional, and, and it works really well. 
which is once again that's another UD thing you know they just you know they smoke a few joints get pissed and and they have ideas like this that you think well why else why has nobody else done this um, and I commend them for that yes some of their ideas come from other places but hey ho um, no I like this I like it and I would yeah recommend it to anybody uh, you cannot go wrong for the money that's it. Have I missed anything? No. Um, just remember it doesn't have an adjustable 510 pin and as usual as it seems to be with UD gear the, the, it does have quite a long 510 threading on it uh, so you, you'd be better with a, a mod or a device that has adjustable, an adjustable 510 pin uh, just to make sure that you know it's going to sit flush and whatever you put it on and that's it thank you to P Vapor as always for sending this on and to you guys for watching uh, we'll catch up soon oh if you want a tutorial on how to do a vertical coils go and watch my origin review my very first origin review and that will show you how to set those coils up catch you later cheers now